All right, we're live. What's up, guys? Bones and Vince here. What's up? So you played against Bobby, and um, I wanted to know, like, is he playing like a lot better than normal today? Uh, or not necessarily. I mean, I felt like he played pretty average, honestly. Huh. But uh, this is the run back. I think they played in winners semis. Yeah. Uh, no, winners finals. Uh, Bobby beat. Winners Polish. finals. Oh, Polish okay. to get to play against right. Jerry in winners finals. So, uh, my general advice to Bobby this set was to just not get, just focus on avoiding the rest setups. Since last set, he said he felt like he outplayed Jerry and still lost, which is a common occurrence in this matchup. Yeah. And so far, he has the lead. The lead's really important in Falco Puff because you get to punish rest setups like this, and then you also get to attack on laser damage. Or if the Puff has the lead, she can be more liberal with her rests. So basically, spacing's the key to deal with. Yeah, I mean, generally, Falco's going to be controlling the ground area with lasers. Mm -hmm. And if Puff gets hit by one, it turns her around, so she can't use back air nearly oh, as effectively. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. a big part of the ground game, yeah. or even like the low air uh, attacks. Down yeah. throw? Yes. Uh, Jerry teched it. I'm not sure if the pummel like gave Jerry enough time to react or not. Mm. Oh, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry's a, he's a real back. fan of those up airs. He likes to short hop up air right in your face. Ooh, good bait by uh, Bobby. He just landed instead of going for an aerial, which is what Jerry was expecting when he wave dashed back. But around 20, this is around when Puff's move starts knocking down maybe like one or more aerial. And uh, that's how she's going to go into most of her rest setups is through knockdowns. Or even just her large combos. Wow, these lasers. Good. Yeah, laser F smash is so good at covering the ledge. Because Puff wants to drift, just drift down and uh, drift into the ledge. But the laser covers that. And then if you can react and to the laser hitting her, you can hit confirm it into an F smash. Mm. And it doesn't like true combo, but she can't do anything about the F smash hitbox. Like yeah, she's yeah. not gonna beat it with a fair, even if she fares immediately. So it's a really good tool for covering the ledge, but it can be risky because if you F smash and the puff doesn't drift into it, or you were wrong about the hit confirm, then um, then she could pound. Ooh, good shine off the top. And the taunt. Bobby feeling himself. He actually told me he doesn't like the stage, so if you're wondering why Jerry counterpicked here, it's because he wants to stay close quarters with Bobby and stay on top of him. I would have guessed that Fountain would be the same as Yoshi's in terms of keeping close quarters and avoiding that, but I guess... There must be something about fa uh, Fountain he doesn't like. Maybe he doesn't like the side plats disappearing. Maybe he's just a fan of the stage. You know, like, it's just his stage. Oh no. Deck oh, chase. Should, should have slid off. Yeah. If you s hold C sick down and DI left or right, you'll just slide off from up airs like that. Good down air out of the crouch cancel. Puff's main tool over to go over the lasers. Yeah. A lot of the time she wants to use auto cancel nair, like what he just hit him with. Mm -hmm. But it's really easy to crouch cancel it, like even at higher percents. So an issue uh, a lot of players don't have is they don't, or a lot of players have is they don't act immediately out of crouch cancel. They might like ASCI down and then shield, and yeah. Puff just grabs them anyway when they could have acted. Bobby's controlling middle really well. Just from uh, analyzing these two sets a few weeks ago, I know Jerry really likes to use the side plat as sor a sort of home base. So you'll see him like retreat to the side plat and then try and dip down and pound. Ooh, 
Missed the tech. Good catch by Jerry. Yeah, edge guarding is really key for Puff. You can't. You can't give you Falco can't, openings. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. All right. So this is a huge deal because of the way the the rule set works. Bobby gets his two best stages, though I think his favorite stage is Battlefield in this matchup. So he'll probably end up with two Pokemon counter picks if he loses. Dreamland, not too surprising, though it's very much the opposite of what Jerry was going for last game. So I think we might see him play more camping, might shift into camp mode, since he's known to do that. And he's been playing pretty aggressively in this set. I don't know if he feels like it's necessary versus Falco, which it probably is, but uh, I think sometimes Jerry can play defensive just to get under Bobby's skin because he's a very aggressive player and he likes to go in. But right now, Bobby just isn't making any mistakes and that's most of what Jerry capitalizes on. It's like tech flubs. That should kill. All right, this is where Dreamland can backfire. Oh. Falco has a stock lead, and now he's free to rack up percent, like 50%. Oh my gosh, this rest punish. No, Bobby, don't do it. <laughs> okay, that's so a lot of damage. That's 97%. Yeah. And this, this lead isn't going to get any easier to come back from. I mean, even with rest, Puff... She's going to die if she rests at this percent, so ideally Jerry wants to look for a edge guard scenario instead of just a rest setup. And he hasn't really done much in neutral to indicate that he can do that, just the way Bobby's been playing. I like Bobby using the top plat a little. It's really hard for floaties to attack Falco up there, and when they're at high percent, it's really easy to, like, with punish their attack with a back air and kill him for it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's feeling himself. Just a bit. Yeah, but yeah, it seems like whenever Jerry gets those like little openings when Bobby's feeling himself, he's just not getting much out of it. Meanwhile, this Bobby's is... just demolishing Jerry's buff right now. I'm yeah, just... this is actually crazy. All right. I mean, unless... If Bobby plays his cards right, this should be almost unwinnable. Like, you can just tack on percent. Yeah. And even with a rest, um, like, like, pretty much all you have to worry about is rest. Because that's the only way he's going to come back. And it doesn't look like Jerry's even going to have that chance. Let's see. Normally, I would expect Bobby to, like, do something crazy like trying to suicide, suicide there but the fact yeah. that he didn't makes me think there's no way he's losing this game yeah he's definitely uh he definitely wants this reset he just has the discipline yeah definitely a different side of bobby that we don't really see often at xanadu good spot dodge he read that puff would just land go for the grab oh over. I mean, it's hard not to start thinking about the next set. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, that's a bit unsafe. <laughs> bit. Now, it, it is important that he doesn't get rested. Yeah. It would be a ridiculous comeback, but Puff has the tools to do it if she can win neutral. Like, right. Basically, Bobby has to I guess not he, overextend just, like, too much. I mean, even if he gets rested, all he has to do is make sure he DIs down, because yeah, he would so, kill. Right. But... It's not unheard of for people to DI up if it's not when they're expecting a rest. Oh my god. I'll be having a bit of trouble finishing his plate. Yeah. I mean, and Falco's kill options are hard to use. See, this yeah. is this is where it gets scary. This is really like dangerous. If, if the positions were reversed, where Puff is up four stocks and Falco's at one, yeah, it's 
pretty rough. Like, she's just going to trade, and then you can trade to a point where Falco just dies from almost anything, and it's not really possible to come back. But when it's the other way around with the Spacey at more stocks, the comeback's always viable. Just because you need less uh, neutral wins to make it work. This would be insane if Jared pulls this off. Oh my god, I thought he was going to get shield grabbed. How is he not getting shield poked? Jerry's just weaving oh. perfectly. Good Good bounce from Bobby. Good fall off. Yeah, he, Good you fall have to DI yeah. the up throw to yeah. get that. It's it's not something you can do after reacting to the throw. Bit too close for comfort. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> I can't even. I'm holding my breath because this is so scary. There it is. Nice. Good Ooh. catch, and we got the reset. A very convincing reset, too. Jerry's thinking right now. I that think was pretty he's, rough. I think he's considering what stage because Dreamland ended up working out. Yeah. In the latter half of the game, at least. But how much of that was just Bobby playing extra safe? So wow. right off the bat, we see him using a lot of up, uh, a lot of nares to get over the lasers. And he's a huge fan of Pound in this matchup. Just because it knocks down so well. See, he's he's hitting a decent number of nares, but it just doesn't lead to anything. Oh, oh. no. Alright, so now Bobby has to stop the bleeding. Make sure he gets his kill. Because if Puff gets one opening and gets a rest... He gets the kill. Nice. Clean. Yeah. Because Puff can blow open leads way faster than Falco can. Falco has to sort of grind it out no matter what. But Puff just needs that one opening. See, Jerry's just... He's insistent on coming down from the air. And I'm not sure it's working out. But Bobby's ground game is also really good. So it's hard to say what exactly he should be doing. I know one thing is Bobby's been full hopping out of the corner all set and Jerry hasn't read it once. And it, it is hard to like time a bear above their head to catch full hops out of shield. But I think it's something Hungrybox does a lot and Armada. So it's just something you have to be doing if you expect to win. See, there's another full hop. Oh, He did catch him coming down, so that was nice. Bobby taking his time to think. Again, this is sort of the same scenario where getting rested is uh, way worse for him now than if he were at a high percent on even stock. And again, he successfully closes out the stock. So Jerry really not uh, capitalizing on these leads. This is sort of a weird skirmish. Like the first two stocks between both for both of the players, it just felt like it just kept trading hits and then like yeah, I mean, it was very much like Jerry would hit him with an air and then back off, and then Bobby would get a, an aerial and it wouldn't lead to anything either. Yeah. Good recovery. He made sure if you're playing Falco and you're going for dares like that, it's important to double jump back so you can up be straight up. Right. Yeah. But Jerry with the he rest will get up. a decent punish. At 14, she won't get knocked down, so you can down throw up tilt or down throw down tilt in that case. Good. 
Jerry is just floating above, looking for a way down. Doesn't want to take percent though. He seems to be shielding much more liberally. Gets a shield grab and accidentally F throws. A back throw or an up throw would both be amazing in that situation. Yeah. So that, that could cost him. Press that up, tech chase. See him, you can see him retreating to the side plat over and over. And Bobby... I essentially told him like he doesn't have to attack Jerry when he lands on the side plat. You just have to stay under him. See, right there, again, stays right. under him and up tilts. So Jerry needs to maybe try using the top plat even. I, I'm not sure. Oh, no. Oh, another Jerry up air. Trademark. <laughs> He's really good at using that move. Like, I thought Hungry Box was good at using up air, but he usually doesn't use it low to the ground like that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's something he would say he pioneered. Jerry on the board. Finally, actually. Yeah, that is the first of this Grand Finals. I think Bobby's wondering whether he should go back to Battlefield or not. Because it's either that or Pokemon, really. And I think either is fine. I know, also know he likes FD somewhat versus Puff, but her punishes are really brutal on that stage. Might just be taking a break to clear his mind. Not get too antsy. Coming out the gate with a full hop fair. Oh no. Puff grabbing the wave dash back is so annoying. Good read on the get up. It catches. Puff, Puff's get up attack. A lot of people don't know this, but it doesn't have invol on it until after the hitbox comes out. So if she get up attacks, you can just dare right through it. And that makes a lot of puffs just do get up in place instead. Oh my gosh. And her rolls are pretty bad, so you can like cover two out of three options usually. Have you ever thought about making a video series? I have thought about it. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't have the equipment right now, but it's definitely something I'm interested in. You want to collab? Or just start streaming. If you need help, just hit me up, because, like, that's some, like, you're pouring out some knowledge that, like, <laughs> Thanks. that's, like, I really mean, good. I'm lucky it's a Falco Puff set. If it were uh, <laughs> Puff Peach, I'd be sitting here, like, yeah. Puff is back airing a lot. Just as long as you uh, <laughs> don't give us the news about the Port 4 or uh, Port 1 shenanigans, then we're good. That's top secret. I, I, don't, even, I don't even want to talk about it. All right. All right. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Good. Good wait, my body just Jerry just got battlefielded as puff. <laughs> oh my god. You see him rising and falling with these back airs. All the way to the top plat and then all the way back down. And it's not leading to big combos, but he's just zoning Jerry out with it. Jerry's afraid, dude. Oh, good back throw. I love wow. back throw versus puff. Down air? Oh, oh he, he could have kept comboing. I think he, he got... for tech in. Yeah, I mean, rolling. if it had landed, I don't think it would have even killed. Maybe it was. It, it would have... Because it was at, like, 85, but... Yeah, but it would have set up for him to, uh... Probably do back air at that point, right? Or maybe a little bit more percent. But no, Bobby gets top the jab, bro. This will kill, though. Yeah. Stock trades, last stock scenario on game... So Five. just like the first set, but in reverse, Yeah, it's really important to not go down 2-0 because the rule set just it lets, just lets you go back to your best stage twice. It, yeah. So this, this game is just crucial for arbitrarily right more important in that sense. Oh, he's got good percent. Down air. Yes. Keep down airing. <laughs> That's my strat in uh, this matchup. Is this Keep down airing. As soon as you launch Puff, oh no. Oh, yeah, no. Jerry's going to hit that on reaction. It's, I, I want to say it's pretty easy, but I'm sure Puff mains would hate the fact that I say that. And she can reach the platforms pretty much any time. Like on, on Yoshi's, she can do it on the top plat just by full hopping and double jumping. And I guess... 
second place is the hardest to hit, but the attack rolls are both pretty slow, so you have plenty of time to react. Bobby really abusing the down airs. See, Jerry knows not to drift into those lasers that time. Ooh, that hurts. He had such a good stock going. Bobby smartly walking up right next to Puff, and that gets the vertical hitbox. Because Puff dies better off the top, and she also doesn't have a chance to ground tech on, on the ground. Oh. Almost. No, oh, what are you doing? That was a bit ballsy. Bobby I big ballsy. It, he gets the up air <laughs> to connect. I can't believe you got that too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, wow. Puff's up smash is really annoying in this matchup for Falco because it clanks with his shine. And if you do shine retreating aerial or something, it'll just trade with the aerial. Oh, Jeez. my God. Another catch? Not enough. Yep. Not much Falco can do there. You can try to shine Puff if she's just hovering by the ledge, but it's really risky. Does so Bobby need to, like, go in all this with that stock advantage, or does it just make it harder for Puff um, to, like... I think he's fine racking game. up damage. Mm. I mean, you generally want to prioritize staying safe. Right. Just because, like, they're both at 100 plus, but Puff will die from that. So, if you can just be patient and wait for your one back air, then uh, you can get a w much bigger lead. And now he gets a chance to get more percent. Huge. Because it, it's really difficult for Puff to fight her way in. So when she has the lead, she doesn't really care that she's taking percent as she approaches. But when Falco has the lead, all that percent she's taking makes her more and more impatient. She, she just wants to get in and get and end the stock so she can even up the game. Interesting F though. I guess he just wants to keep her off stage. He doesn't really care about killing. Wow, that was a fast up tilt. I mean, normally keeping Puff off stage just makes it easier to like read the situation, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, even though Puff has jumps and doesn't really need the ground, you don't want to be off stage because Falco can control center really well. But now Bobby's looking at a deficit where he's going to have to play on Jerry's favorite counter pick twice. But he won on Dreamland, so I, I think Jerry will go Dreamland just because of the way the set's been going. If he can get one rest and end a and stock early, it he, changes the whole game. He honestly just needs to lead. Right? Yeah. Like, just, just, just one rest uh, changes how even they're going. Yeah. Because when you have a really even match, but Falco's not getting rested, then that's the one change. Oh my Holy God. zero to death, dude. <laughs> He's popping off. This guy's insane. He, he knows how important that is. Yeah. And, he, you know, now he doesn't have to play Jerry's game. Yeah, he can play as patient as he wants. Yeah. Rack up this percent and see, this is what I was describing where Jerry's just trying to get in. And the fact that he's losing makes him lose more and more. It's a, it's a slippery slope. Yeah. Because he doesn't have time to just sit back and take a, a million lasers and get zoned by back airs. He has to get the kill. Whoa. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. But we saw this last time. Jerry brought it back from further than this. So Bobby just has to keep up the pace. And not get I, I don't, I don't even think it would be in his interest to start playing super campy or anything. Just because his play style is working right now. I mean, if he's comfortable, dude. Yeah, if you're comfortable doing. Oh my gosh, he really oh wanted to trade. Oh my god. See, like. But he has a safety buffer. Your lead is not that big, dude. You can't be doing that. Still a safety buffer. 
still a small lead. Yeah. It's like one of the things that Bobby has told me about is his mentality and how he's been trying to improve it. And like, as long, like, even though he might have lost like a chunk of his lead, like as long like as he stays uh, true to himself, yeah, true to himself, <laughs> mentally stable, you know, all your synonyms, then he's gonna he's gonna be you know comfortable playing his best. So yeah, I think he's very. Based around wow. confidence. That was great. Good. Great pressure. pressure string. I'm not sure Jerry could have shield grabbed the nair. He like spaced the tip of his nair and then down tilted, which Puff definitely wouldn't have been able to punish out of shield. And her shield was so low that she sort of just has to read that was he's going to do nair down tilt. Was roll, roll even away. an option? He could have rolled away. Yeah. And her roll forward actually is oh my God. In, intangible on frame two instead of four like most rolls. Oh my god! Yeah, he had to. <laughs> I think he covered it. Yeah, he definitely covered it. That, that was hilarious. That was amazing. We're going to game five, a set two. Bobby with a chance to win. Is it game five? This is game five, set okay. two. So this is game right. eight. Game eight overall. Right? Yes. Yeah. Well, they played in winners, so it's even more games than that. Yeah, if you think about it that way. But let's see where Jerry goes. I kind of want him to go Fountain so he doesn't get shined off the top, but still has the ability to keep it close quarters. But the way Bobby's been playing, he's just downering him so much. And maybe Jerry would prefer to go FD and just bank on getting harder punishes. He's going back to Dreamland, so. Game 11 of the night. Game 11. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I don't think uh, Bobby hasn't really beaten Jerry since he started out with Puff. Like when Jerry first picked up Puff, he beat him. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I was watching like Winners Finals, and it was a 3-0 for Jerry in Winners Finals, but it was a close 3-0. It's not like yeah. So like Bobby definitely aware and playing really well. To be yeah. Honest. But what I was trying to say before was uh, he, his mentality is very confidence-based. If he's not confident uh, in anything he's doing, then I think that's when he starts to crumble. Yeah. But we've seen him stay confident this entire set. He hasn't gotten uh, shook or anything by getting rested. Because he has been rested a few times. Oh, no. Nice. Slow, yeah. That, that Tekken place is definitely the hardest one to cover. I think he actually messed up his jump. It seemed like he drifted in a weird way and wasn't able to double jump rest right away. Mm. But maybe that was, he just, Bobby landed later than he expected. Hesitation come from Jerry, Bobby getting a break. Yeah. Who knows? Luckily for Puff, Falco doesn't get the hardest rest punishes. Yeah. At least not usually. And Bobby's making good use of that top plat. You can just, Side B across it, ledge cancel, and Puff can't really challenge it. Nice. Down throw? Oh, yeah. He doesn't even want to go for the down throw because Jerry seems decent at teching it. And he's not forcing the kills. I think that's really what's making the difference. And the reason why a lot of Falcos would be losing right now is they'd be trying to force his kill, but... He's just forcing space. Yeah, he's content to that's just back air space. That's and not the, necessarily hit Jerry. That's just the that's just the beauty of this, right? Yeah, now. That, that's a great way of thinking of it, of just attacking the space that yeah. Puff wants to be in. Have you ever played Go? No, I have not. This is just Go, dude. I've just played Monopoly, that has a go. <laughs> oh man. Vin, Vince is gone. He turned off his mic. I'm sorry. Alright. Jerry with the lead finally. He's gotta be so careful. Just cause Bobby's just spacing back here is like a madman. <laughs> there it goes. I mean at 170 it's not very surprising, but as a puff player you definitely would like that one opening just to go for a rest. Oh, there's one. So now he's got a full stock lead. Bobby has to make this count. And 15% 
is unfortunately par for the course for Falco's rest punishes. He doesn't get much, especially when Puff's at zero. A little more laser usage. I think Bobby realizes he can't take a ton of percent. You don't want to go into last stock with 100%. And that's going to change the way you play it. Ooh, missed down air. Hit confirm. Oh, is this it? No, good smash eye from Jerry to stay on stage. Up air. Oh, no, he rolled into it. Oh, good job from Jerry. Maintain his, his composure and maintaining his record on Bobby.